Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another breakdown prediction video. It's fight week once again, man. Got a solid straw weight fight coming up between Carlos Barza and Marina Rodriguez. Man, this is a much needed fight for both of these ladies. You know, um, when I say much needed, not necessarily like a fight where the loser gets cut or the looter or the loser is considered washed. You know, not a fight like that, but um, it's much needed as far as pushing them back to that to that elite status. Well, back to the elite status for Carlos Sparza, but this is a fight for Marina Rodriguez to push her to the first time to that realm. You know, she's an undefeated fighter coming up. You know, she has solid wins against uh, Tisha Torres, Jessica Aguilar, close decision, close draws against uh, Randa Marcos and Cynthia Calvillo. So that last draw kind of held her back. So she definitely needs a fight over a seasoned veteran like Carla Sparza to take her to that next level. But um, yeah, man, first of all, I got to say shout out to Carla, you know, for a fighter her size, who should be Adam weight. She's definitely held her own over the years in the straw weight division. You know, she's won some, lost some. If you name them, she's fought them. Uh, she's faced just about everybody in the straw weight division now. And um, I think that, you know, going to th into this fight, she's going to showcase a lot of heart and a lot of experience. Because I know there's a lot of people counting her out against Marina Rodriguez, which, you know, I understand for good reason. You know, Marina Rodriguez is very tough, but you got to look. Hey, she still has some weaknesses as well. And you got to look at Carla Sparza. She's experienced. And I think that Carla is definitely growing as a fighter. You know, I know that sounds crazy. People get older, they get sometimes they get smarter. You know, Carla Sparza has definitely been evolving. I think she's been showcasing better, uh, better striking. Um, definitely, uh, her wrestling is on, always on point, and she's a solid fighter on the ground, man. So you definitely got to give her a lot of credit, especially like I said, fighter her size against all of these uh, tall, long straw weights. But um, yeah, man, just real quick, man, looking at the keys to victory going into this one. Number one thing for Carla, man, definitely got to use her wrestling. You know, she definitely got to get on the inside, take this fight to the ground and just use her wrestling. You know, she just needs to keep that top control in this fight and, you know, kind of ride rounds out. You know, you want to just get on top and keep the other fighter from getting getting anything done. You want to nullify that work, even if it looks boring to people. Tough. You know, you just got to get them to the ground and dom dominate with strength, dominate by sapping the energy of your opponent and just keep them there and keep him nullified from doing anything. I mean, like I said, that looks boring to some people, but it's still dominant. It's still dominant for that one person who can use their strength, you know, and that's her wrestling. Um, some other things she wants to use is her striking, you know, at times, you know, in certain spots, you know, use timing and her, and her striking. I think that her striking is um, a bit underrated. It definitely has improved over the past few years. You know, if you look at her fights against like Alexa Grasso, who's a very, very solid, outstanding boxer, you know, um, Carla Sparza had some good countering moments in there. She was able to land on the boxer, you know, with some solid shots and, you know, hurt, hurt her a few times, you know. Um, so I think that if she catches a few leg kicks, if she times a few leg kicks or times a few jabs from Marina Rodriguez, like she times the leg kicks and grabs it, she can land that right hand, you know, grab that kick and then throw the right hand over the top and then land the jab on the way out. So, you know, if she uses these little... Um, these, these little tactics like jabbing her way in on the way to taking uh, Marina Rodriguez to the ground, it'll, it'll definitely score shots and definitely benefit her. You know, she'll definitely uh, put herself in a better position to get takedowns by using her striking. Because like I said, a lot of people won't expect it because she's a shorter fighter, but shorter fighter has to have a way to get in as well. And they got to punch as well. So they have to find their way in. Um, another, um, another thing Carla needs to use is head movement. You know, you definitely want to use that head movement, kind of wade your way in against a taller fighter and use loopy shots. You know, you definitely got to use some overhand lefts and overhand rights to land on the taller fighter. Six inch height advantage. Definitely got to do that. Um, look at Jessica Andrade. She just learned that against Rose Namajunas in that rematch. She had excellent moments with it, you know. So I see Carla doing that early. It will definitely benefit her on the way to taking Marina Rodriguez down. Um, Marina Rodriguez. I want to see her keep this fight standing at all at all costs. You know, for three rounds, she needs to keep this standing. You know, she's a solid Muay Thai fighter. Uh, her Thai boxing is, you know, very deadly. Um, just seeing her stance, like in this fight, you know, she just it, it really has to stay poised and just keep Carla on the end of that jab. You know, you're the longer fighter. Keep her on the end of that jab in the first round, kind of get her to, you know, kind of feel her out a little bit. Just get her timing down and just keep popping the jab off and just just stay right in. don't even don't stay in front of her but just keep that range 
because uh, the one thing I like about Marina Rodriguez is she's always poised and ready to strike. Like if you ever look at her footing, anytime a fighter, even when a fighter's just like using angles and trying to be tricky, she's constantly moving with them. And as she moves, you know, she's never losing her, losing her balance or she's never losing, like like I said, her, her poise. You know, when she turns with you, she's on her position to punch at all times, you know, and that's what makes her dangerous. Uh, if you, you try to turn to an angle and try to counter or jab her, she's already in that position before you to outstrike you. So I want to see her throw more jabs like that and then follow up with the right hand and use front kicks you know use those front kicks to the body of Carla Esparza to knock her back and you know just take the wind out of her and really kind of second guess herself so just her standing just, you know just her keeping this as a standing fight is uh, really going to benefit uh, Marina Rodriguez all the way um, another thing is the clinch you know she has to get in those Muay Thai clinches and control them you know if Carla Esparza tries to go in for the takedown she needs to go straight to the straight to the body with the knees you know, go straight to the body with the knees and don't stay in there longer than you have to. As you break out, land elbows, you know, land those elbows, try to rock Carla and then go right back to keeping the distance with the jab. So it's just jabbing right hands. Then whenever she goes in for that clinch, use a takedown defense, control the Muay Thai clinch, land these to the body and push her out. You know, so those are the keys for Marina Rodriguez. Just keeping this fight, stand, just keeping this fight standing and using the elbows, knees and and kicks you know anything that can keep carla off of is what she's going to need to do and again for carla she's going to need to take this fight to the ground and just nullify whatever the taller longer fighter has you know going on the inside using dirty boxing at times and taking it straight to the ground um now as far as my prediction in this fight like i said this is going to be a really good fight i think at times it's going to be a high speed chess match but they both know how to slow it down because carla she's a veteran Marina Rodriguez, she's a economical fighter at times. So um, if I had to pick, man, because I think it's really 50-50, just to be honest, man. This is a 50-50 fight. Um, you know, a lot of people picking Marina Rodriguez. But if I had to pick, if it goes to the ground, honestly, I'm going to go with Carla Esparza. I think Carla Esparza has that experience now to control whatever a fighter like Marina Rodriguez brings to the, ta to the table. Unless Marina knows how to shift that gear and just go straight in for the kill. You know, if she hurts Carla early and just goes in straight for the kill, then it's going to be a short night for Carla. But I think Carla has the um, the tools and the experience to pull out of the pull out a decision in this fight. It's going to be close, but I'm going to go with Carla by decision. I can't pick over experience in this one. But if Marina Rod, don't be surprised if Marina Rodriguez really does keep this standing and she stays poised, she could definitely win this fight. That's why I say it's 50-50, but I'm going to go with Carla by a close decision but yeah that's all i got guys uh definitely definitely looking at a good fight here uh between these two ladies let me know in the comment section who you think is going to win carla or marina make sure y'all subscribe combo breaker 99 i'm out peace